Hi, I'm Tom Zelenka. Now I'm just a beginner in the kitchen. In every episode of Carolina Cooking, I meet a different chef from a famous restaurant in the Carolinas Ooh. who'll teach me to cook their secret recipes mm. in just 30 minutes or less. Really good. Welcome to Carolina Cooking, shot on location at the mansion on Forsyth Park and the 700 Kitchen Cooking School. Now here's your host, Tom Zelenka. Hi. Welcome to Carolina Cooking. I'm your host, Tom Zelenka. I'm not a chef, but I'm willing to learn and to work for food. In fact, that's how they found me. What we do here is we bring the best chefs from the best restaurants all around North and South Carolina, and we bring them here to teach you and me their incredible recipes. Today, we're making a chilled poached trout with dill mayonnaise and a new potato salad. And to guide us through the process in 30 minutes or less is Chef Michel Baudouin from the Grape Escape in Asheville, North Carolina. Michel, you? bonjour. Bonjour y'all. Yeah. And um, you're originally from Texas, right? That's right. Okay. 23 years. And then before that? France. All righty. Yeah. So th is this recipe French or is this recipe uh, just kind of a, a new kind of thing? It, it's it's a combination of both. Okay. All righty. Shellfish in the summer is very popular in France as salad. Or, so. I gotcha. How, do you, how would you say this in France, in French? It's une, une truite pochée mm -hmm. avec une mayonnaise à la net okay. et une okay. salade de concombre et de nouvelles uh, uh, pommes de terre. The salade de concombre. Concombre. Concombre, that's fun. Uh, and how would you say in Texan? I'm uh, just kidding. Uh, so we have what in here? We have uh, trout, We obviously. have North, North Carolina red trout. Okay. We have fresh cucumbers, mm -hmm. fresh new potatoes. Ah, the cucumbers are there in the salad. Exactly. Okay. Potatoes. Potatoes. We have a homemade mayo. Alrighty. Do we begin on the mayo? Do we begin making the potatoes? Where do we begin this? We're going to begin with the potatoes. Alrighty. So we have potatoes right here. And we're gonna, you're going to put them in the water, which now, is cold. Why is it cold? Because you cook all root vegetables in cold water. Oh, why do you put all root vegetables in cold water? Because they'll cook more evenly. If you put them in hot water, you will shock them. The outside will be down faster than the inside. Oh, well, that's so good to know. Carrots, any root vegetables. Beets. Beets. Okay. Beets roast very well, by the way. Really? Yes. Okay. And uh, do we want any salt in there? No, or no? nothing. Oh. All right, so we're just going to let that go? That's right. Well, what's the next thing? The next thing, we're going to get ready to poach the trout. Okay. So, water. Water in the in the, in right the pan. This is the water here. This is the water. Okie And white wine. White wine right here. All right. I'm pouring in Any the pan. particular white wine? Chardonnay? Not not anything sweet. Okay. Dry wine is better. Alrighty. Okay. Couple of bay leaf. Bay leaves. Just two. Yes. All right. Take the lemon and we're gonna slice four slices of lemon. Four slices of lemon. Okie dokie. Is it okay that this one's kind of green? Absolutely. Okay. So four just regular slices? Regular slices. All right. You actually can use the end in there because oh, we really? don't use it for. That's right. It's just to flavor the broth when we cook the trout in Big slices or little slices? Big slices is fine. Is that good? Yes. All righty. So one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Then next we're going to do the trout. Okay. Should I turn some heat on that? Turn or just some heat on, absolutely. Right. Get it going the so the flavor will start on. coming together. Okay, high or medium? High. Okay, so I got that, and now we have to do trout. That's right. What so are we doing with the trout? We take the trout fillet, put them on the board, okay. and we're going to trim them a little bit. All right, so this I need to see. The trimming process, I don't think I'm going to be able to do on my own. So if you'll show me one, and I'll work on the other here. It's just like you would trim a salmon. You want to take the fatty part out. Okay. And so you start here, and you just go in a straight line. Straight line. Which also will improve your presentation. So we do not want this fatty bit right no, here. No, we don't. Okay. All righty. How do they say trout in French? Treat. Treats. Uh, hang on one second. So everybody can see. It's this fatty part right here, right. and just the straight line. Which you will find nice. also on salmon if you do a old salmon fillet. Oh, okay. I know you like salmon. I yes, like yes, yes, I do. I like to call every fish salmon. If it's white, if it's pink, if it comes in a can, to me it's all salmon. I don't know why. It's a brain fish, block. Fish in a can? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Have you ever tried it? No. Oh. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to place the fillets in here. Should we? Okay. 
How are we, how are we getting the skin off then? Skin down. Really? First, we're going to okay. cook it with the skin. We'll get to removing the skin a little bit later. Okay, fantastic. So, that one there, am I supposed to avoid all the stuff we have in there? Yeah, you just give it a side a little bit. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now what do we do with it? We season, uh, season the trout a little bit. Okay. A little salt. A little salt. Is that good? Yes. Did you want more? No. Perfect. And salt right there. That's right. A couple of turns of pepper. pepper. All right. With the sound. You got to bang it. I learned that at Benihana. <laughs> Where's that And then you can flip it flare. too. That's what All I learned at right. Benny Honey too. Alrighty. Okay, and now this is gonna go in the oven. Oh. Well, we're gonna finish poaching it. Okay. All right. You open the oven, I'll do the work. All right, so we're gonna be putting it in the oven. When we come back, our potatoes will probably be done and we'll be putting them on ice and chilling them. And then we're making ourselves mayonnaise from scratch. And Carolina cooking continues. So these take about how long to do? You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, The Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find The Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with Michelle Boudouin from The Grape Escape. And Michelle, our fish, is it done? Our fish is done. All righty. So we're gonna put it out. I'll grab it here. Thank I'll you. I'll get the door for you. And what do we do with the fish now that uh, we have it poached? We're going to chill it. Chill the it? The way we're going to chill it is we're going to remove it from the pan, put it on paper towel. Okay. So the paper towel will take all the moisture out of it. So just slip them out of the pan here? That's it. Ooh. Up. Let's use two. Okay. Let's use two. Broke the first one. Well, that's all right. That's why we have two. Okay. I didn't know it was a two-man operation. And, and. All right. I'll show you how to fix it later. You'll oh, never know good. we broke it. All righty, good. Jeez. Voila. All right. Well, I'm learning. Yes. Yes. There's so. a beginning to everything. Our Alrighty. potatoes are almost ready. How do we, we know if they're when they're ready? You want them al dente, so you'll take a very small knife and you're poking it. Uh -huh. And if it goes in easy, they're ready. Okay. If it don't go in easy, they're not ready. Okay. It's all in the touch. <coughs> almost. That's right. Okay. By the sound, I could tell it's almost. Yeah. All so, righty. Let's work on our mayo. All right. What do we need to do first? We're going to take this bowl right here. Mm -hmm. The mustard mm -hmm. goes in first. Okay. Just take the whisk and put the mustard in the bottom. All right. Mustard. Hot Dijon mustard, not sweet mustard. Okay. Hang on. I'll, I'll do it the old fashioned way. I love that about you. Okay. And now, how are you going to make the mayonnaise white? That's my question. You won't. Really? No. This is, this is, but this is real mayonnaise. That's right. Okay. Until Kraft, there was no white mayonnaise. Mmm. We need the egg yolk, so we're going to separate the white and the yolk. Okay. So you don't want... You want yolk. white or you want yolk? I want yolk. Okay. All there right. we go. Good. You, you know how you use that hand the first time? I got it. Don't worry. Oh, here we go. I got a plan. Watch this. It's not the cleanest plan. There we go. All right. You wanted the yolk, right? The yolk. Okay. And then All we right. can just get that. Look at you. Go back in the bowl. Look, huh? Okay. Now you got a job. Saved myself. Okay. You got a job. All right. And so we got the yolk in there. Salt. Salt. A little salt over here. Yes. All righty. All right. Okay. A little bit of pepper. A little pepper. All righty. With the sound and all. Mm-hmm. Now you stir that very well together. Okay. Good. I'm going to pour the oil for you, and we're going to emulsify the mayo. Emulsify. Okay, I got you. All right. Now you can do that by yourself. How would you but do it by yourself? I'm here, I'm going to help you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So this would be a good, good be excuse brisk. to... Don't be shy. Call the Go ladies ahead. over and That's it. tell Go them ahead. you want to emulsify. Right. And you need their help. Yes. Right? It gets show all you, the ladies you, that way, Show your it? strength. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Could you use a hand mixer? Like a, yes, you can. Oh, okay. But we just decided not to use it here. To, huh. Ah, we're getting okay. almost there. Slow down a little bit. 
See, the texture is almost there. Oh, okay. You want it nice and creamy. All right. All right. Are we there? Uh, well, it's here. It's getting creamy. Looks good to me. All right, we're calling it mayonnaise, huh? Yes. Wow. Now we're going to give it a little bit of a flavor with a good squeeze of lemon juice. Okay. You know, a manly squeeze. Oh, a manly squeeze. Now you're yes. challenging me. That's very good. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> And stir that in? Yeah, just blend it in nicely. Okie dokie. And now what about our potatoes? Or our, uh... Potatoes, potatoes, let's see. Potatoes ready. Okay. And we potatoes have a ready. cucumber over here and... We got chive, which mm -hmm. is going to go in the cucumber salad, but in the mayo you want some dill. Okay. So oh. we're going to wipe this board real quick here. Okie dokie. Uh, see? I'm the most overrated dishwasher you've ever worked with. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we doing with the we dill? We just want the leaves. We don't want any of the stems. Okay, so just the leaves? Yes, there you go. All right. That looks to be just about right. Okay. And we're going to chop that very slowly. Chop it slowly? I mean, small. Small. Finally. Oh, that's okay. All right. There is a, lang there is a language there. There we go. And it goes in? In the mail. In the mail. Dill in the mail. Dill in the mail. Alrighty. All right. Mix it. Yep. Got it. The, okay. I saw that you tested it. Is the salt and pepper good? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. First time. Mm. Wow. I like that. Wow. Could use a little more pepper, but we'll there get to that. Go. Now, the potatoes. It. What do we need We're to do We're going to move them to chill them quick. Okay. And keep them nice and tender so they stop cooking. Okay. Into a bath. So we're stopping the water. cooking? We're stopping the cooking. And when you do that with green vegetables or carrots or anything like that, you also keep the color. Okay. Color won't fade away because it's been in hot water too. Alrighty. And now, All right. now do we need these? We need to chop the chive. Chop the chives? I can do that. Because it's going to go in the cucumber salad. Okay. And does, does any more dill let's go keep, in there? Let's keep a couple of them for presentation. Okay. Does any more dill go in there? No. So just... We're just chopping those up. Yeah. Okay. Get in there, guys. How much did we want to fine chop or? Yeah, a little bit more. Watch out. All right. You're good now. Yep. In that bowl where the spatula is. Okay, in this bowl? Yes. Okie dokie. Anything else going there? The yogurt. Yogurt? Okay. Just plain yogurt. Just plain yogurt. You can get that at the store? That's, not, that's why I got this one. Okay. Alrighty, and it just be the plain yogurt there at the store. That's right. Salt. A little salt is over here. Pinch. A good pinch. Good pinch. Two pinches. There we go. A little pepper. Of course. Okay. And? Now we're going to take the cucumber. Oh, okay. We have the cucumber. Okay. And what we're am I doing? Cut it in half. Cut it in half? Link was. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm worried about the thumb now. Okay. Yes. And now we're going to seed. Take the seed. seed. It. Yes. So, how do we do that? Spoon. Go ahead. Take the spoon mm -hmm. and very simply just ah. dig it out. Uh -huh. While we take the seed, they're not very good. If you're slightly sensitive, mm -hmm. they will make it difficult to digest. Okay. And you don't want that cucumber coming back to you all afternoon. <laughs> Alrighty. Now you can peel them if you want to or not. I don't personally. Slice it okay. thin. Well, we're gonna. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and chop this up during the break, and we're gonna finish up our uh, cucumber salad during the break. When Carolina cooking continues, we're going to well, make more of a mess. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. Well, we have to finish up our cucumber salad. We have those all chopped up. So do I put lemon in first? Or A good squeeze of lemon. Good squeeze of lemon. All right. You show me how you could do it earlier. There we go. All right. Now, the cucumber. You okay. Go ahead. You can start mixing. That's fine. All right. Mm -hmm. And then cucumber. 
and See? pop all you those. You did a great job at cutting them real thin. Well, thank you, thank you. We cut them up real thin, but not paper thin. That's why right. you yeah. want to keep the texture to it. Okay. So we mix, 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 and then that makes the salad. Is that, that right? That makes the salad. Oh, okay. Fantastic. And now, now we have some trout. And what are we doing with this? We're gonna pick it up, uh -huh. put it upside down on the board so we can remove the skin. Okay, pick it up. Pick it up, oh. there we go, that's all right, just turn it, there we go. The two pieces that I made. Yeah. Okay, and so now how do we... Start from the tail. Start just, from the tail. That's it, with your thumb. Okay. And roll back. And roll it back. Well, and couldn't you, be easier. And you got the first piece of skin for your new boots. All right, fantastic, yeah. that's nice. That'll make nice boots or a belt or, or a, a wallet. Belt. Yes. And I bet your girlfriend will have a purse out of it. Well, a very small purse. <laughs> yes, but maybe well, so. Well, we got more for you. Just have a party for it and you can make a big purse. Well, if you'll do me a favor and you'll peel the other piece of trout here, I need to talk to Eris Ragazes and find out which wine he's paired with our trout. I'll be happy to do so. Hello there, Eris. Good oh, to see you. Good I'm here with you. Eris Ragazes, our wine expert in the wine room here at the mansion on Forsyth Park. And Eris, we are making an incredible piece of trout. It's really going to be good. That's, well, I got a good wine for you. Okay, fantastic. I got an interesting wine for you. All right. This wine is called Pig Pool. I'm sorry? Pig Pool. Pig Pool. Pig Pool. I've, pig Pool? You never heard of that, did you? No, I've never heard of it. Pig or pick? Pick. Pick Pool. Wow. Where from, does that come from? From southern France in the Languedoc region. Okay. Usually used as a blending grape. Hmm. The producer is, is Hugh Beaulieu. Hugh Beaulieu. You do that very yeah, well. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So I could find this down at a, a regular store? Or? You will very rarely find this, period, because it's usually used as a blending grape. Really? Okay. And this is the kind of wine you would find at a specialty store. Ah, specialty yeah. store. And when uh -oh. you're in a specialty store, and I mean a specialty store in the sense that there is special people there to help explain what the wines are like. Well, I have this special the, needs, so. Yeah, well, this is the time to experiment, you mm -hmm. know? This is not the time to, to buy your everyday Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc. It's time to try something new when you got somebody there to explain. Explain it. Okay. And pick pool means lip stinger. I don't, I'm good. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You sure? Lip stinger just means it's going to be a nice little bit of uh, tartness to it. Well, now you already have me worried because you said we have to go to a specialty store. You said we're experimenting. So how much is this going to send me back? Uh, Ten bucks maybe. Oh, like that. all right. Yeah. Okay, okay, good, good. This wine is from the Languedoc, which is in southern France. Mm -hmm. Warm weather. But mm -hmm. this, this particular grape gives good acidity even in the hot climate. Okay, alrighty. But along with that good acidity comes a lot of ripe fruit flavors. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be perfect with the tr with the uh, trout because you don't really want a, a weighty wine with that. It's a very yeah. it's a very uh, delicate fish. You want the good acidity, the nice fruit. Uh, you don't want it to be overlaid with a bunch of oak. No. Nice, clean flavored wine. Very light, very, very crisp, I would imagine. Yeah. I, I definitely get that it's very light. I mean, all the flavors are very subtle in it. Very subtle, uh, but but it's it, it's good, strong flavors, in it, but it's not it's not overly complex wine. Okay, and what but did you say the name of it was again? The the grape variety yeah. is Pick Pool. Pick Pool, yeah. okay. And this is Huyac Not quite, but close. Okay. <laughs> all right, okay. But I could go into a specialty store, and those guys would help me find this. Well, this pool. is the time. Well, okay. The they may not have pick pool. This but is a, it's, it's really hard to find. They could help me find something that I something like. Something new. Something, something different. that I've never tried this before. This is the time to experiment. I appreciate that. Thanks. I appreciate. It. I'll be going to a specialty store and asking those guys if they could please help me. If they could impart some of their wisdom as you do You'll make to me, day. I will. Thank you. Well, I'll be getting back to the kitchen when Carolina Cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, The Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find The Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. We're about to plate our trout, right? Yes, we are. So first, what goes first? Lettuce. Lettuce. Across. Okay. Yeah, it's just a whole leaf. All righty. Cucumber salad. Cucumber salad right here. Can I halfway on the leaf and the halfway rest on the plate? on the leaf and rest on the plate. <laughs> Très bien. Yeah. Oh, voilà. you're saying that was good? Uh, absolutely. Oh, okay. The trout. All right. Get my trout here. Yes. 
Right like that. Et voilà. Just stick the two pieces together there. We decorate okay. with the potato. Decorate with the potatoes. You know what I've noticed? Not a lot of chefs go for the whole face on a plate. I like to do the eyes, the nose, the mouth, but not yep. a lot of people go for that. Well, maybe you can show me how. Ah, okay. Alrighty. All right. And now we're going to cover this little crack here with the mayo. Ah, good plan, good plan. Oh, what crack? That's and what I said. That's it. It's always good to cover the crack of your fish. The finished touch. Mm hmm. Is that enough mayo? Oh, absolutely. All righty. We want to see the fish. It's not, oh, a, I got it's not a soup. So, a uh, little, little dill on little there. Little dill on there. All right. Little chive. Some antennae. Yes, the antennas. All right. And, oh, well, we'll let them lay down. There and we go. That's close enough. All righty. Well, let me pour you a glass here. Finally. <laughs> There are some... I've been looking at this pig pool for a long time now. <laughs> A glass of white for you. And <laughs> I am going to go ahead and give it a taste. Feel free to grab, grab a fork and see how we did. Now you have to put a little bit of the mayo mm, yes, I on, noticed the, that. on the trout. So. I noticed that. There we go. Otherwise, it's just trout. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good. Very good. Mm. To find out more about our wine, our recipe, our chef, or the Grape Escape, visit our website at www.carolinacooking.tv. I'm Tom Zelenka, and that's Carolina Cooking. Good job. Salud. Salud. And voila. And voila. Go to carolinacooking.tv for the recipes featured on this show. Plus, on carolinacooking.tv, you'll find more information on the wine, chefs, and foods of Carolina Cooking. That's carolinacooking.tv. Carolina Cooking is filmed on location in 700 Kitchen Cooking School at the Mansion on Forsyth Park Hotel in Savannah, Georgia. For details on their hands-on cooking classes, call 888-711-5114 to book a class.